It, it's an amazing quote from you, Nikki, that uh, just before you went out there on the Olympic stage to sing, was it the national anthem then? And, yeah. and what did you say? I said, oh my gosh, in five seconds, 3.2 <laughs> billion people will know my name. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that something? You're right. And, and, uh, but you looked calm. And, and why? Or were you scared to death? Oh, I was so nervous right before I went on stage. But then the second I stepped out, it's like it all kind of disappeared. It, I don't know why. It just like, I, I kind of stepped down and all I was thinking was, I wasn't even worried about really like the lyrics or anything because I had practiced the, the national anthem many, many times mm -hmm. just so that I wouldn't mess up. But all I was worried about was um, walking in those four inch heels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And tripping on and the tripping. stairs. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? There's there's a moment you could never get back. But uh, since that time, I mean, everything's just been a whirlwind for you. You've got the number three album in Canada on iTunes. Congratulations Thank for that. You. And we're going to hear a cutoff act called Cool My Heels coming up in just a second. Number, hold Pardon it, me. edit, whoa, what? Whoa, just whoa. a second, we'll go back, we'll go back. I was just told number three, that's awesome, okay. You've got the number one album in Canada on iTunes. Congratulations. <laughs> What a, what it's a number, ride. It's number one on the jazz. I think it's number two on the pop. That's incredible. Thank you. So what genre did you grow up with? Because when we hear Cool My Heels, I hear a real 70s vibe to it. But what did you what did you grow up with, Nikki? I grew up with everything, you know? I'm just a music lover. I always say, like, you know, I guess I, I kind of started singing. I got kind of known for my jazz stuff. But um, that's why on this album I deliberately put pop and jazz and blues and everything. I wanted it to be really eclectic so that it had something for everybody on it. And... Um, and you really get to know me through the music. And yeah, Cool My Heels was kind of, we were going for like a Motown kind of 70s. Yeah. 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 I totally got that. So how old were you when you actually started to record this album? Because it was like two mm -hmm. years in the making, so... I was 14. I was 14? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I have pictures. I remember I was in the studio um, with Phil and everyone for Halloween. It was October 31st and I was like, four, it was, I was 14, I was in grade 8 when I started it. And... Um, I made everyone dress up, and I was wearing like <laughs> I was wearing like this funny, this like vintage-looking dress, and I made my hair look short with red. I was from the '40s. I'd made, put pearls on and red lipstick, and <laughs> and um and then Phil had devil ears, yeah. and it was really funny. Oh, I that's just that. I'm so glad you said vintage '40s and not '80s, or I'm afraid half of us <laughs> would have to leave the room right now. Now we have David here, who is one of our CHFI winners, and he's grade 11 in Lawrence Park Collegiate. So. Uh, he had to take a day off school to be here. What is happening with your education right now? Right now, I hate to sound like a mom here. Don't worry Nikki. about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually go to school full time when mm -hmm. I'm in when I'm in town, of course. But I don't. I'm not homeschooled. I don't have any tutoring. Um, I just kind of. I email my teachers when I'm on the road. I take all my books with me, and then I email my teachers what am I missing, and then mm -hmm. they tell me, and then I, um, you know, I take it and do it on the road. Good. Do everybody in school kind of treat you equally now? Yes. Yeah, good. They all treat me equally because I've been in the school since grade four. So I've been with like kind of the same classmates. I mean, there's some new ones because when you go into high school, new people come. But, um, you know, they don't. It, the only people that kind of treat me a little differently are the younger students, actually, because I don't know them so well. And so, like, my friends are like, you know, that they know who you are. I'm like, it's just I don't think of it like that. It's just like I'm, I'm just me when I go to school. I kind of don't, don't talk about it in school at all. We're talking with Nikki Yanofsky, of course, who has a huge album in Canada, and, and they hit I Believe, and we're going to hear Cool My Heels from her coming up in just a few moments. Now, because you are 16, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who've come up to you and said, now this is what you should know. What's the best advice that somebody has given you, either about the music business or even about life? What, what, what has resonated with you the most, Nikki? You know, um, something that's definitely been my mentality throughout this whole thing, it's just like what I live by, it's from my parents. They always tell me that um, before you can be, you have to think that you are. And, and um, so, you know, it's just basically believing in yourself before you go for it. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else will. You have to have faith in what you do first. Um, and then also, also to know that you can always get better, no matter how good you might be at something, there's always room to improve. And that also keeps you grounded because you never think that you're the best you can be. So it kind of keeps your feet on the ground knowing that, you know, you, although you might be okay in like your mid-range, you can still work on your high range or, you know, you could go lower. You know, there's always things to improve upon. Are you a fan of American Idol? Do you have watched the show or do you like it or do you think it's kind of mean? Um, I actually, I, I'm a fan. I don't actually watch it. I don't watch much TV. The only two shows that I watch are Gossip Girl and Modern Family. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Isn't Modern Family the it's best? It's the funniest show. <laughs> oh, my God. Phil's like, I'm a cool dad. I know all the latest slang. <laughs> LOL, laugh out loud. Yeah. OMG, oh, my God. WTF, why the face? Yeah, I know. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So you don't have a lot of time to watch TV. Now, if Canadian Idol was still going, were you ever pushed in that direction to
to try out for that, or were you already on your own path? Um, I think I was pretty. I was already kind of uh, on my own path. Um, I, I I don't really. I, I don't know if I would go into a competition for talent because I think that talent um, is defined by anybody. You know, my version of talent might be your version of talentless. So I think it's you know it's almost like. Um, it's kind of weird to me to have a competition comparing talents because it's all different. Wow. And so what's next for Nikki Yanofsky? What's next? Pretty much just promoting this album and, you know, touring. I'm going to Europe this summer and um, and I'm really excited. I'm going to Japan at the end of the week and then to New York for 10 days. So it's really busy, but it's so much fun. Oh, it's incredible. Now, for people who don't know how you got your break, uh, Stefan Macchio heard you at a hockey game, or was it Alan Frew? Who heard you singing? It was Alan Frew. Oh, no, was it really? He's yeah. an old friend of ours. Yeah. yeah, he's such a nice guy. Wow. I was doing the national anthem there, actually. And um, and, he, and then he said to Stefan, I think I found the voice for I Believe. And because also they wanted someone young because they wanted to embody sure. youth in the song, you know, because mm -hmm. it's kind of like believing in yourself from a young age. And so, and then they... You know, I was very, very, very fortunate to be chosen for that. But the chance of you doing the anthem at a hockey game and, and the chance of Ellen actually being there, I mean, that's truly mm -hmm. fate. You, that's destiny. You were, you were destined to be a star. Thank you. And then also I met Stefan Macchio at the Junos, um, not this year, but mm -hmm. last year. And, and then we kind of just were on each other's radars, I guess. Excellent. Well, we can't story. we can't wait to hear what comes next from you. And thank you so much. Uh, well, we want to thank you for your time in here with us. Wish you all the luck in the world, and we're just we're just so proud of you. Thank you so much. I know, as a Canadian, you know, we, we just want to put our arms around you and and wish you the best as you head out into the world. Thank Nikki. you so much. It's really a pleasure. Thank you for having me here, Nikki Yanofsky. On ninety eight point one, see you at five.